How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. And today we're finally going to get into that coding video. I know I've been saying it for a while. I keep saying I'm going to do some more coding videos. Well, today is finally the day. And for this video it's going to be a bit more in depth uh, than the last one I did. The last one I really didn't uh, show you guys how to do any unique colors and, and choosing them yourselves. But for this video I'm going to show you exactly how to make any color you want using a website. Uh, that's available to you and really each of us in order to create a, a, a unique color if you want a unique one. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could just use the colors I pre-selected in this in this video that I'm going to show you later. Um, but I'm going to give you guys the option if you want to create unique colors as well. And I'm not going to be doing too many unique ones. I'm probably just going to choose probably two that are, I know I've there's some that I've mentioned some in the comments that they want down below. So I'll show you guys how to do a few of those ones. And yeah, it's it's not as difficult as it sounds. I know going to a website makes it sound more more difficult than it really is. Uh, but bear with the video, give it a watch, and I'm sure you'll you'll find that it's a lot easier than it sounds. Uh, so let's get inside. I'm gonna walk you through the steps, show you the websites, and just follow them exactly, and you'll be able to get it done as well. Uh, so I'll see you inside. Okay, everyone. So this is basically the website you would be using uh, to figure out. Uh, the hex codes you'd be putting into Beamer code if you want to change the ambient lighting in your car to a unique color that's not uh, that's not already pre-programmed. So like I said, you could really decide any color you want. Uh, I'm going to be basically doing some colors that some people have mentioned in the comments below and asking me, hey, how do you do this color? Uh, I'm not going to get to every color everyone mentioned. I think there was a couple. Um, but I'm just going to give two examples of some more popular colors that aren't necessarily that aren't already in the car um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing here today so the first thing you want to do is go to this website right here it's w3schools.com you're gonna click on color RGB um, but to make it easier for you guys so you don't have to figure this all out I'm just gonna link it down below in the description you could uh, just click on the website or copy and paste it and get to here and then another one you want to get to is uh, the hex to decimal so I just have it pulled up on Microsoft Bing. I don't know why this computer has that as the default search engine, uh, but but this is what I'm using here. So it's going to be decimal uh, to hexadecimal, and um, but I'll actually uh, post a website in the description down below again that has every that lists basically every hex decimal, and you guys could use that website for this. Uh, but to start off, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically create a color that one of you guys had mentioned you want it below. Someone said they want it uh, a pink like in the the Mercedes. Now I don't know how the that pink looks in the in the bins, um, but I think you could choose any color. I think it has like a something like this where you get to decide whatever color you want. I'm, I'm not too sure, uh, but let's just create a pink. So of course you want it. Uh, I'm gonna do red all the way up, which is the max is 255. Uh, I'm gonna put green all the way low. So you could also type right here. Of course that equals uh, zero, and then. Um, let's go with, we'll go with the, let's go with 200 to make it nice and a nice round number, an even number. Uh, so this looks pretty pink to me. I mean, you could do different pinks, but this is what I'm going to go with. Uh, so first, what you want to do, you can go here. So as you could see, that first number was 255. So you're going to type 255 right here. That equals FF. So I'm going to remember that. Second was the green. Green had zero, no amount of green in it. That equals zero. And last was blue. Blue had 200. That equals C8. So I'm going to remember this. That way when I'm in Beamer code, I could actually put this in uh, basically the related places to equal this pinkish color. Next, I am going to go with, let's say a light blue. I feel like Hey, a lot of people are going to want a lighter blue than that's already in there. Um, I feel like they should have had a lighter blue by default. It's kind of silly that they didn't since that's the M Sport colors are a light blue, a blue, and then a red. So it's funny that they didn't have red or light blue in there since those are the, the M Sport colors, but whatever. I'm right, sorry, my camera just dropped. All right, so let's put it, like I said, we're going to put red all the way down to zero to create this lighter blue. We'll put 
Uh, we'll just slide it actually. We're going to put blue all the way up. Put a 255. That's the max. And let's see. That's not very light blue. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with 215. That's so 215. That's the color we'll go with for the light blue for the car. So again, we're going to type this in there. So red equals zero. So the hexadecimal equals zero as well. For green, it's going to be 215. That equals D7. I'm going to remember that, write that down, because that's what I'm going to put into Beamer code. And then lastly, 255. And if we remember, that equals FF. Um, so I'll keep track of all this. Now, of course, each value from 0 to 255 is going to equal a different uh, hex code or hexadecimal. So it's going to be different. So that's why you want to type it in so you can figure out exactly what it is. And yeah, so see different ones equal something different. Uh, so I'm going to keep track of these ones to create that light blue and create that pink it was. And yeah, so I'll put this into Beamer code. I'll show you guys what it looks like and show you that this actually does work. It's, uh, it's, I know it sounds more difficult than it actually is talking about conversions um, from decimals and having to go on a website and type these different numbers in. But really, it's 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 simple once you actually get it done, and I'll show you guys exactly uh, where to where to place it in into Beamer code. All right, so now you're all ready. You got everything set. You went on the website. I showed you inside, and you got the color you wanted. And of course, for this sake, I'm just going to be using the colors already pre-prepared. And for what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be actually just changing the color bronze that's in the iDrive, um, like I did last time. And that way, I mean, you could see it with that because. Uh, I don't really want to change any other colors because uh, I do like how they already look. But I'll post below because I know like the color pink. Some some of you guys might want to change the lilac and the iDrive to that color pink, or you might want to change the blue in iDrive to that new lighter blue. Um, so I'll put what bytes relate to those those actual colors. Uh, but for today's video, for the sake of just me wanting to change bronze, I'm just going to be changing that. Um, so for those bytes for bronze, that equals the 18, 19, 20. Uh, 23, 24, and 25, and 28, 29, and 30. Uh, but there's different bytes that change different colors in iDrive. Uh, but to get started, basically what you need is a OBD2 port. I'm using MHD tuning again. That's what I like. It's the one I used last time. I told you guys about it last time. Um, and yeah, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it's the one I like. It makes it nice and easy to code, and they're, they're fairly quick. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, of course, Whenever you're coding a, a G20 or any of the new G series, I believe, is you're going to put the, the car in diagnostic mode. So to do that, you put the start engine button. You press that three times in succession. So one, two, three. Usually take a second for it to start. Let's see. And there you go. It's in diagnostic mode. Okay, so now that that's set, you can connect to Beamer code. Of course, you're going to need to purchase the full version if you want to do this. So we'll click connect. I'm going to choose my car, which is, of course, the same one, that G20 3 Series. And then give it some time to load up. All right. And once you're in, you're going to want to go to the BDC, the Body Domain Controller. So you're going to click on that. Let that load up now. It's fairly quick. And then, of course, you need to go to Expert Mode. So Expert Mode, I'm going to click on that. And continue. Can you see everything okay? All right. So once you're on in expert mode, uh, you always want to be careful in here, but so make sure you just follow the instructions clearly. It's not too difficult. You're going to go to 360A, which is the uh, color library. And then after that, you want to go to the library data. So you're going to click on that. And once you're in there, you're going to go choose your car, which is, of course, the G20, or the G21, a G28, or the G80. You click on this, make sure that's selected. Then you're going to scroll down and you are going to go to custom value. So once you're in these custom values, again, like I said earlier, these bytes go up, I believe, through uh, 151. So the 151 of these bytes and they each relate to different uh, colors that you could change in the iDrive or different things. Uh, so like I said, for this one, it's those specifically the 18, 19 and 20, uh, 23, 24 and 25 and then 28, 29 and 30. Uh, those are the ones you are going to be changing um, in order to change the bronze in here. So, so start off. 
like I said before, the, I already got the bytes figured out which uh, hex code equals which. Uh, so you're gonna wanna go exactly with the codes you did earlier. So of course, remember the red was FF, the green was at zero because there's zero green in that pink color. So I'm gonna be coding the pink first. And then uh, the blue was a C8. So that's, the, that's what equals what. So for the first one, byte 18 equals the red. So I'm gonna change that to FF because I want it max red. 19 is gonna equal zero because I want no green. And then 20 is gonna equal C or C8 because I want only that amount of blue. And then I'm gonna go down to byte 23, 24, and 25 and do the exact, the exact same thing. So it's gonna be FF, zero, and 25 is gonna be C8. Then I'm gonna go back down to 28 now, FF, leave it at zero, because I want zero green, and 30 is gonna be C8. Oops, C8, so make sure you typed them all incorrectly. I usually go back and double check to make sure I chose the correct bytes. And yeah, so again, this is for that light pink color or that bright pink color, I should say, that I chose earlier that I showed you guys how to select. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna click done. You're gonna go back, back, and you're gonna code it in, start coding. Sometimes it fails, but there you go, now it's coding. Okay, so once you get this code in successful, then you should be good to go to check and make sure everything worked. So I'm gonna do that. I'll show you guys the interior lighting. So let's go to where bronze is. So right when I click on bronze, let's make sure it's the light, the color pink. And so as you can see there, this is pink. When I click on bronze, it's pink. And it's different than uh, the lilac. I'll, I'll compare it to the lilac. If you just stay looking at this, I'll change the lilac real quick. So you see lilac's a little bit darker, more of a purple, and then this is that pink color I, I chose. Um, so I'm probably not gonna show you guys exactly how to do the exact same thing in showing how to change it to the blue, not that light blue color, because it's, it's gonna be the exact same step, so I probably won't record that. Uh, but you're just gonna wanna do the exact same thing. So for the blue, like I said, the red equals zero because I want it zero red in that new blue. The green equals D7 because it has a little bit of green in it. And then the blue equals FF because I had a maximum blue for that lighter blue color. Um, so I'm gonna change it in iDrive just to show you guys, a or not an iDrive, in Beamer code, to show you guys a comparison. I probably won't record it because it's literally the exact same steps as I did for the green, or for the this light pink, not the green. Um, and you're gonna be changing those same bytes if you're trying to replace bronze. Um, I'll link down below the bytes that equal lilac and the bytes that equal the blue so you guys could see them and know which ones to change if you're looking to change those colors. It'll be in the description below. Um, but I'm not gonna be doing it for the sake of the video because I personally wanna keep those colors. Uh, so let me get down to that and I'll, we'll skip ahead and I'll show you a comparison between the light blue and the, the default blue that comes with the car. All right, so we skipped ahead. I already changed all the bytes in here uh, to equal basically what equals the light blue with the hex values. Uh, so you can see here, I'll just show you real quick. So 18, 19, and 20 equals 00, zero D7 and then FF in that order. And then I did the same thing with 23, 24, and 25, and then 28, 29, and 30. And so basically uh, you change each of these because 18, 19, and 20, as I mentioned in my other video, I believe is, is for the door wells and those lights. Uh, 23, 24, and 25 are for the foot. Foot well changes those lights. And then 28, 29, and 30 are for the map light. Uh, so you want to change each of these uh, the, to the, the values that basically correlate uh, with the color you want. Uh, so now that we got that done, I'm going to go to done. I'm going to go back, back, and code it in. Okay, so you can see here, sorry for the fingerprints again, code in successful. So let's make sure the color actually changed. So you see, I have it already selected on the default blue that comes with the car. Now I'm gonna change it to the light blue by selecting bronze. And as you can see, it's a lighter blue. Um, so it's a nice color, I like it. Uh, then I'll change it back to the blue so you can see the comparison again. And yeah. 
So it does work. You could basically choose any color you want and it's not overly difficult. You just want to, of course, follow the, the instructions uh, that I've given you here. Uh, it's, once you kind of get it down, you know where to go to. Uh, anyone can do it really. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And like I said, uh, for the for the bites that equal blue and for the bites that equal lilac that you need to change, if some of you guys do want to change those, I'll, I'll list them in the description below uh, so you guys can know. If you have any questions in regards to the other, other colors and what bites they are, um, you could ask me in the comments. I'll, I'll try to look it up and find out for you, but I've, I've already searched and found out which bites equal lilac and blue, so I'll put them in the comment section below. Uh, so yeah. All right, so hope you guys all enjoyed the video. As you can see, it's not really that difficult to do. Um, and I'm sure if you just use the websites, like I said, I'll link them down below. You guys could choose any color you guys want and then just follow these instructions and you guys could get it done. Uh, it won't be too hard. Um, besides that, I know some of you guys still might be worried about coding and getting that done. And there is some good news, I guess, coming in the future. I don't think it's officially released yet, at least as of this video. Uh, but Beamer Code does have uh, something in the works to allow people to basically do the coding without having to do any of the byte stuff. They'll just have a selection where you could basically choose the color you want and say you want to change it to blue, a lighter blue. They'll have that pre-selected and you can click on that and it'll code bronze in your iDrive into equaling that lighter blue. Uh, so it's something to look forward to. Like I said, it's not officially released just yet. Uh, but it should be coming hopefully sometime soon and you guys won't have to do this uh, but that'll only be if you're looking to change just one color like changing bronze and you can't really i don't think it's going to allow at least as of yet uh, changing the other other colors in iDrive um, but yeah so thank you guys for watching this video there are some more videos coming as you guys could see i finally got, got my windows tinted uh, which i'm happy about it was it's been colder so i, I didn't want to do it beforehand but now that it's getting hot i'm happy i finally got it done um, so there's going to be more things coming, more coding videos, as well as some more outside modifications. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys learned anything, I appreciate it. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and all that good stuff. So yeah, have a good day and stay safe.